Even as cases continue to decline and more Americans receive their vaccines, the coronavirus isn't likely to go away anytime soon, health officials say. The nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, dismissed the idea that COVID-19 would be eradicated in the next several years at a webinar hosted by think tank Chatham House in November. He states, we need to plan that this is something we may need to maintain control over chronically. It may be something that becomes endemic, that we have to just be careful about. So what is an endemic disease, and how will COVID-19 become one? Experts say there are multiple endemic diseases in the U.S. that could foreshadow what the disease caused by the coronavirus may look in the upcoming years. Today, we will define the concept of endemism and COVID-19 status going forward. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention defines endemic as a constant presence and or usual prevalence of a disease within a population in a certain geographic area. A disease can be endemic in one country, but can be considered an outbreak or an epidemic in another country. For example, malaria is considered endemic in some parts of the world, where mosquitoes carry the parasite. However, a high number of malaria cases in the United States would be considered an epidemic if it were not contained. An endemic disease spreads at a baseline level every year without causing major disruption to people's lives. Things that are endemic are present for long periods of time without interruption, continuously circulating in the population like the common cold. What's important to note, an endemic disease does not necessarily mean that it exists forever. Some endemic diseases have been eliminated in the U.S. after achieving herd immunity through vaccines and natural infection. The four common cold coronaviruses which are considered cousins of SARS coronavirus 2, the virus that causes COVID 19, are considered endemic in most parts of the world. We just don't notice them. They're transmitted, they're constant. For SARS coronavirus 2 specifically, a January study of 2021 found that the virus could join the ranks of mild cold causing human coronaviruses in the long run, according to Emory University and Penn State University scientists. The model, published in the peer reviewed journal Science, compares SARS coronavirus 2 to four common cold coronavirus plus the SARS and MERS viruses, which surfaced in 2003 and 2012, respectively. Researchers determined from the model that the novel coronavirus continues to circulate in the general population and most people are exposed to it from childhood, it could be added to the list of common colds. However, the future of the novel coronavirus hinges on many unknowns. New variants from South Africa worry health officials as emerging data shows, existing COVID-19 vaccines seem to be less effective against it. Dr. Tosh of the Mayo Clinic expects more variants to arise as growing immunity and vaccine forces the coronavirus to mutate. It will be difficult to project what this will look like five years from now, he said. But I think we can anticipate some kind of COVID endemicity over the next several years. This will certainly be an intriguing topic that will spark conversations in the coming months. For now, we hope you stay safe. Thank you.